Bet on Aces. Ace Country. Just after 1 o'clock, we were dispatched for a report of a structure fire. While we were en route, we were receiving reports that the structure was well involved and there was immediate exposures. Upon arrival, we found a fully evolved, unattached two-car garage. However, it had extended all right to on the exposure, a double white manufacturer on the what we call the Delta side. And it was an immediate threat to the neighbor's double white manufacturer dwelling on the Bravo side. Heavy fire conditions, wind driven, approximately 25 to 30 mile an hour winds were uh, placing this uh, fire in a precarious situation for neighboring properties. Crews commenced a quick knockdown while protecting the exposure structures. They found that they actually had to go into the primary dwelling on the involved property because the fire had extended into the attic space. So they commenced an interior attack while they were also protecting the exposure building and also doing a direct attack on the attached, uh, unattached garage. On the property where the fire originated, include the unattached two-car garage as well as the double wide manufactured way in which the fire traveled into the attic space. The occupant of the property that was involved sustained burns to the bottom part of his feet. And then this was an accidental... Um, it, it's an accidental fire, but it, it brings us great memory as to what our, our message is about burning. This was dry ground cover. There was an ignition source of open flame to the ground cover. The winds took that fire in very short fashion directly to the structures. Dry conditions, high winds, introduction of flame to the dried out material. We're getting into that season now and we're starting to see these calls over and over again. You have to take every precaution to make sure that you're prepared. And there was no burning permitted yesterday because of the fact that the winds were up. The occupants of the original property of origin were trying to re-enter the house. We cannot allow that to occur because we are already aware that there was fire extended into that dwelling. Life safety is our paramount concern, so we're not going to allow anyone to re-enter or get involved in the, the property where we're fighting the fire. They need to be moved to a safe spot, and it takes time away and energy away from what we're trying to accomplish with the suppression by having to corral people.